I love meeting uh, your poodle backstage. Oh, yeah. Winnie. She somehow makes everything about her. Well, she's, she's just, just very so cute. She's so selfish. No, well, I, she is a queen. I met her on Zoom. Yes, and, and that's when she was puppy. That's when she was humble. <laughs> it's gone oh, to her head now? Oh, it's gone to her head, absolutely. Does she's, she think she's a star? Of course, she is a star. She is, well. <laughs> What is, like, what is she doing right now as we're, as we're speaking? Well, if I'm on set, like, I take her to my movies and stuff like that, and we're always at the studio, and if she hears my voice or sees me, she feels comfortable. But if she can't, she gets really anxious. We have a little codependency issues. <laughs> we don't have to go there. <laughs> a little but, bit. Just a little bit, but that's because of COVID. Like, I got her in COVID, and so yeah. we didn't leave the house. We were always together. So, uh, so yeah, she's here right now. She's backstage. But she doesn't freak out in front of an audience or anything? No, actually, when she was eight weeks, I took her to a Falcons game. I was just like, you got to get used to this kid. Wow. And she, she did. She was just like, OK, whatever. And so now she just thrives on sets, on studios. She doesn't like being at the house. She's like, I want to go out. I want to go to work. She knows where she's going. What are we waiting for? Do you want to bring Winnie out? Let's Tonight. do it. Everyone, please welcome to The Tonight Show, Winnie the Poodle. <laughs> She's like, I just gotta shake the nerves out. I gotta shake the well, nerves out. She's just like, whoa, where's my mom? I can't hear her. Hi, Win. Yeah. Hi, Winnie. It's so nice to see you. Yeah, she's uh, she's happy to be here, I think. <laughs> now, when, when you are on set, uh, does Winnie know when you're being you or, or when you're acting? To she show knows the... when I'm acting and she knows when I'm actually really upset. Um, but she's she's an actor. She knows when I'm upset. She knows when I'm fake crying. Is she, is she playing hard to get? Or well, I swear. <laughs> she just, she knows a camera. She really does. She's looking she right at the... Every campaign, every photo shoot. <laughs> every photo shoot, Look at this she stuff. knows. Look at this stuff. <laughs> who, me? She's like, she, she's like, who, me? Maybe. Who, me? You guys talking she, about me? So she's not about, like... Uh, uh, she doesn't really care about human attention. She cares about an audience. <laughs> yeah. She loves the camera. So I, I actually on Damsel did a huge stunt. I had to, to jump from one cave to another and um, I did the stunt and she has never made a cry, a yelp. She knows when I'm acting, but this stunt was so realistic that she cried out to me because she thought I was actually gonna die. Oh. And I remember just looking at her being like, it's okay, baby. And she was just like, okay, like that really looked real, <laughs> yeah, mom. Don't scare me, mom. Yeah, I know, yeah. it's so terrifying. But she like somehow makes her way into, she's been on covers of magazines. She knows a camera and she works it. She really is so cute. Well, welcome Winnie, Winnie the Poodle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, you also, uh, I saw your fiance Jake backstage. Yes. Fiance. Yes. By the way, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Excited. Yes, me too. Uh, he's a great guy, and you were yeah. telling me backstage that the proposal story it was pretty incredible. I have yeah. not heard it yet. Do you mind sharing? Yes. Well, I haven't told anyone this because I, you know, like there are moments, key moments, but I'm like, Fallon is the best. And also, I think this is too good of a story to, to not tell, but um, basically, Jake and I bonded over diving. We love diving. We got our diving licenses together, and uh, we... We one day we were uh, on vacation and he was like, "Mill, you got to be up at 8 a.m. We're going on a dive." And I was like, "8 a.m. Yeah, dive? Like, what it's are a vacation. we?" Vacation. Yeah. And he's telling me like we're going to the same spot we usually go to. I'm like, "It's boring. Let's go somewhere new." He's like, "No, we have to go to this spot." So we go under and we're like many meters down, and uh, he get like he gets he gives me like a, a shell and I like turn it over and it's it's a ring, and I was like, and I like looked at him and he was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I... and he was like, Moo! <laughs> yeah, and I was like, because this means up. I want to go up. So you can't. So that technically would mean I, like, no, I don't want to marry you. I want to go up. <laughs> so so you can't. You got to make a quick like, decision. Okay. <laughs> and I think it was underwhelming, but I, <laughs> we like, freaked I out. Anyways, he puts the ring on my hand, and as I go to show him, the ring falls off my finger, plummets. 
like so fast. It was like a cinematic movie. Jake threw himself into the, like so deep. Like the diver was like, you can't do that. Like your ears, your literally your brain will explode. He throws himself. He does a cinematic like grab, grab opens and he saved the ring. Come on. And I truly, I truly That's feel, a stud. I know. I truly feel like it's a reflection of who he is. And I feel like we were always gonna have each other's back. And if anyone drops the ball, we got it. So there we go. Uh, but then, but then that's not the end of the proposal. We got to the top. Yeah. And he was like, do you want to marry me? And I was like, oh, like, yeah. I mean, yeah, that would be, <laughs> you should probably ask me in person. And then um, uh, he was like, you know, I bought you this ring because your mom wouldn't let me take her ring, which is the one I'm wearing. This is my mom's ring. And he was like, my, my mom was like, absolutely not, Jake. <laughs> you're not taking my ring down there. I know you'll drop it. And she, I did. He did. So drop. She was right. She was right. So but when now we you got have... up on the boat, he was like, this is your mom's ring. And I got it from your parents. And it was very magical. And his parents were there. And uh, we just looked so disheveled coming out from a dive. <laughs> we were and, uh, engaged. Like, oh. We were like, we're engaged. But also, we have to tell you this crazy story that just happened. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no one knows. No one knows. You're in the yeah, middle of nowhere. We were just like, uh, yeah. That's the, so personal and great. Yeah. Thank you for sharing Absolutely. that. I'm so happy for you guys. Yes, thank uh, you. Uh, you, you get, you're the best. Thank you. uh, oh, let's talk about Damsel. Yes, This please. is a giant new Netflix movie, uh, March 8th. Uh, your co-star, Robin Wright, was here last night. Ugh. Called you a powerhouse, by the way. Not too shabby. I don't even know what that, like... That's Robin Wright. It's the coolest thing ever. That's pretty cool. I know. I just watched that, and I was just like, whoa. Like, yeah. that is so cool to even just see as, like, a description. Like, I don't know. It means so much to but me. You, it's actually a very physical role, too. I mean, oh, you do... Yeah. A, a lot of... Well, like, I mean, I did the stunt, though, when he literally thought I was <laughs> really throwing myself into something. I mean, I've never done stunts like that before. Um, I am you claustrophobic. Say no to yeah, I'm claustrophobic. So I say no to, to anything that are, I'm in tight spaces. I have to say no. And, uh, and sure enough, when I read that script... There's a lot of... There was a lot... There was one specific thing where I was, like, basically crawling through a cave, but it was the size of an air conditioning vent. Oh, no. And I was, I was going through it, and I, uh, I said, no, I can't do it. Like, I, I can't do it. So I came back the next week, and they were like, can you try it again? I tried it again, but this time I had my fiancé and my assistant, like, holding my feet just so I could feel someone, like, because I was so terrified. <laughs> and like... then the director's on the other side giving me, like, positive affirmations... He was like, you're doing great, Millie. Like, because he's Spanish. He's so passionate. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> Sobbing, crying. So when you see the scene in the movie, it's all real. I was an actor. You're overcoming one of your fears. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Step by step. <laughs> we'll get you there. So, by your feet or by your hands, we'll make sure you got, However, you, yes. you, got you covered. Yeah. Uh, how do we set up Damsel for everybody? Oh, my gosh. Well, Damsel is about a young woman who... Uh, marries a prince and all seems romantic and uh, just like a fairy tale until he shows some serious red flags. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, in fact, it is not as it seems. And uh, it's very dangerous and very cinematic. And um, it's an adventure that you have to follow this young woman on. And, uh, and there's, there's dragons involved. There is a dragon. I don't want to say, but there is a dragon. Well, there's a there copy a, for a dragon. There is a dragon. There is a dragon, and uh, that is my co-star for the whole film. Yeah. I want to show a clip. Here's Millie Bobby Brown in Damsel. Take a look. You may make your return. I'm supposed to carry you back. I'm fine with walking, really. Floria would love this part. <laughs> Close your eyes. I've got you. This is gonna crush, but you like that, Winnie? Winnie loves. Winnie loves. Winnie loves. Winnie's a little scared. <laughs> Winnie, it's good. It's gonna be all right. 
Millie Bobby Brown, everyone. Damsel is available on Netflix March 8th. Welcome back to The Tonight Show. It is time to play Egg Roulette, but I'm going to need some help. She's a very talented actress who stars in the new movie Damsel, which is in Netflix March 8th. Please welcome Millie Bobby Brown. Come on, back. <laughs> Higgins, do you want to explain how this works? Yes, James. Ah. Here in my hand, I have one dozen eggs. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Eight of them have been hard-boiled. Four of them! What country are you from? <laughs> I always forget. Eggsylvania. Oh, no, very interesting. <laughs> you and Millie will take turns selecting one egg at a time and smashing it upon the top of your head. You won't know which eggs are raw and which are hard-boiled. <laughs> Once you choose an egg, you must smash that upon your head. No putbacks. And each time one of you smashes a raw egg upon your head, the other person gets to dump a pitcher of confetti upon it. <laughs> the first one to smash two raw eggs on the head loses Millie. Would you like to choose La Prima Ova, the first? <laughs> <laughs> the Prima Ova. All right, now be careful. There is no trick to this, but yeah. there are, there are, they're, they're mostly hard, but mm. Oh, good luck. You feeling good about that? Did you just do it? Oh. For a second. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, wait, did it crack? What happened? Yeah. I, I swear, my head, I was like, is my head hard? <laughs> <laughs> I think it smacked it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Go, James. This one feels raw. Which, that one feels no, raw. No, don't. You can't take a good look. Pick well, your egg. No, I, I just I just need the audience's help. No. <laughs> this one? They are the best in the business! I, the odds are getting worse. Six to I think four. the key is going in confident. Oh, you're you going, know? really? Yeah. Wow, right there, go. Oh. I'm just going confident too, what's up? Everything good? Good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show! Oh! The odds are 50 50. Four. Oh. 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 So happy you're here. What is happening? By the way, you keep cracking on the same spot in your head, you're gonna get a bruise on your I head. Swear, I swear, I it's the I, same I, exact I spot. I know. So I, I know I'm losing, but I'm still winning. Okay, so there's okay? four. I feel like a winner. So there's three left. Yeah. Three raw, two boiled. That's one suspicious. Just pick it up. No, that's sus. That one's. That one's bus. That's sus, that's bus. What's up? <laughs> I don't feel good about this at all. D Damsel comes out when? Okay. March 8th? Yeah. Good, because I'll be watching. No. Yeah! <laughs> Come on, get that big giant one. <laughs> What is happening? I'm not choosing that big giant one. I'm not choosing that one. That one is so sad. No, I'm not doing it. Oh! oh. <laughs> They're all. <laughs> Are they all? <laughs> I think. I think it's our first tie. It might be our first tie, which yeah. means. I won. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely won. Oh my god. Look. I did that for how do, pity. How do you look how do you look good with egg on your face and confetti? Uh, <laughs> let me tell you a new twist on this game. Uh, I, I thought this would be fun if I thought that I was going to uh, win, of course, but I think the 
<laughs> the, the loser also gets, you can crack a bottle of wine over their head. So you can do it over, go for it. Millie Bobby Brown, thank you for being here. Perfect.